today's video. Today's video features this baby. It's our horse trailer. You guys know it. It might not be fancy. It might not be beautiful, but it's ours and I love it. When we're ready to upgrade, it will be the same kind, a two in one. We can pull, well maybe, I don't know. We're, we're looking at another right now, but we'll see. Basically, uh, yesterday you guys saw it. I got a letter from a cute little girl and she said that Penny goes right on the trailer. And then this morning when I woke up, I dreamed it. I didn't dream Penny going on the trailer, but I dreamed the trailer just sitting there. I felt like God was saying, Laura, do it today. So we're gonna do it today. But first, horses. Also in today's adventure, we're gonna look at a couple of new saddles and see what we can do to make Sophie's dream come true. Come on, you can come. Holy heck, there's poop in the arena. All right, you, do, oh my, oh my goodness, Penny Pickle. I know it was you. Oh, yeah, that was definitely her. Here's our cat watcher. You know where the cat is at all times because of the cat watcher. Here's our pylon chaser. And here's our just chase anything. She chases butterflies. In the video a couple of days ago when Brooklyn and Jacob were here and they were playing in the balls, Daisy literally came flying out of nowhere doing twirls in the air because she caught it. She was trying to catch a butterfly. It was so cute. I know, anything that moves. And she just sits. She's like six and a half. Actually, she just turned six in May. Six? Six or seven. Anyways, this is what she does. She just stares. Hi, Penny. Hello. I don't have treats. I don't have treats, but we're headed outside, and today you and I are doing something special and fun, okay? I look fruity? All right. Jeans and a long shirt and my barn boots. And Gabby says I look fruity. Do you even know what that means? Um, I think I do, but I don't think I could say. I don't think I can say it on camera. Well, then you better not keep the fruity part in because they'll understand right away. Oh, are you sure? Yeah. That is a rude thing to say, Gabby. What did I say? Oh, well, Gabby just told me and she really doesn't know either. She just knows vaguely. And you know what? No. Oh. I if I said you look gay, then I'd say you look gay with that, but I said you look fruity. So, so fruity means, means something different. I don't know. I don't know what it means, but you know what? Who cares? Be who you are. Anything but Be, yeah, anything but straight, she said. But you know what? That's the way the world is now. Like, diversity is the name of the game. Be diverse, you guys. <gasps> Whoa. That was not called for. Oh, what you be stealing my man? Ah. Hey, pickle! You're mine. Pickle. They all come in a line. They're like me first. All right. Hold on, I gotta wait for Gabby. Just passed right by us. Trying to trick my horse into kissing her. Anyways, be who you are. That's the whole point of this. I applaud fruity, whatever the heck it means. I applaud non-fruity i applaud i applaud whoever you are because you know what people are people and it's your personality and how you view the world that counts not your sexuality that's so silly that's so weird and not your color that's even more weird not your age you can be any age you can do it all you guys you can be who you want to be just be who you want to be not your brain neurodiversity i've been learning about that All right, be free, little mini, and she's off, and mad. <laughs> she's like, I wanted Laura today. No, she wanted me. She even kissed me. I know, I saw that. Also, if you think it's rude that I let Gabby talk about that stuff, I want to be the kind of parent that's open and allows my kids to discuss that <laughs> stuff so that I can 
share my view so that they can know that I'm comfortable with what I'm comfortable with and help shape who they are, which is what a parent's job is. Might not be okay for some families. It might not feel comfortable for some families, and that's okay too. Be who you are. Do it how you want to do it. Don't let anybody tell you you're doing it wrong because you're not. Who you are is enough, no matter who you are. So Brandon gave us this yesterday. I don't know if I showed you guys. It's a Micklum Rambo Micklum bridle. It's cob size. It's fin size. If you guys can see, it puts the nose piece down lower. But my friend Ali T, who is one of my go-to girls told me that nose bands on bridles are just dumb they put unnecessary pressure and i believe it you guys especially after seeing finn i'm going to post the video so you guys can have seen finn and explain see the full thing what happened to finn when we took the nose band off basically i want to take all of our horses nose bands off like even penny when i tried a bitless bridle with her it 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 used like the nose piece more. It uses the nose piece kind of for control. And she literally hated it. She literally, like she did fine in it, but she hated it. And it makes me think like what my friend said. She, so my friend Ellie T, she does, she's big in the English world in the, in the US and does all the English stuff and at the high, high level. And then she also goes to a ranch and does like a lot of Western stuff and a lot of like basic stuff with horses. But anyway, oh, but basically she was explaining like nose bands are needless pieces of equipment for horses, but you needed to show in English, which is so dumb. But anyway, so we got that Micklum bridle and we're gonna clean it up and we're gonna try it, but we're probably gonna ride Finn with no bridle and only use that for showing if it works for him. No nose band. No nose band, what did I say? No bridle? Mm -hmm. uh, well, that we're... would be terrifying. That would be terrifying. I... Because I actually believe that horses without bridles are good. Like I think they'd probably enjoy it even more. But Finn is a firecracker. Wait till you guys see the video. It was, it was insane. I might narrate that video. Like watching what happened with Finn when we took off the nose band and gave him a week off was shocking. Yeah, he was in his own little world and he was the happiest horse we ever saw. All right, what will she choose? What will she choose? Yeah, my horse again. Oh my gosh, something insane is happening. I'm falling in love with Willow. Look, look, this way, I'll see if she'll do it. So one thing that Sophie has never shared or explained, oh my gosh, she's affectionate. She's so sweet. Look at her. Oh my gosh. I put her bridle on and she hugged me. She loves me now. I love her. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I know. Oh, you guys. Penny is not affectionate. Your horse just loved on me. I know, but she's never done it to me. She just said, I love you. Do you love me too? Eh? Let me clean your eye. Yeah, steal her. Like the moon needs the sun, we don't care about the others. You said my world on fire. I literally have never experienced that before. This I've never. Yeah, maybe. Okay, you're going to choke her. Oh, she's jealous now. I literally have never experienced that before. That horse just walked up to me, put her head on top of me, and said, I love you. And it was like overwhelming. Okay, Penny's like, I'm not going. Penny, I have to go to the store, but when we get back, we're going to show you how to get in the trailer. It's cold today. Here's your clean box. Okay, so we're headed to the pet store because our solar glow light, they cost a hundred bucks. They only last like three months. It's insane. Anyways, um, we have to go get one for our, our bearded dragon. And if anybody's wondering about the bearded dragon, like, do you guys still like her? Do you take care of her? Do you feed her? I love that thing. Like, the thing is, just like with Willow, when an animal comes to you and says, I love you, it makes it hard for me to not love them. And she loves me. She really loves me, that little thing. She loves Sophie too, but she like 
She knows me. She searches me out. She takes comfort in me. It's hard to think that a like lizard type animal can do that, but she does do that, and I do like her a lot. So anyway, I have to go get her a new light. And then when we come back, we're gonna show you all the stuff that we got yesterday. One thing about me that you guys don't know, like I told you before, I hated driving. I, I never been really good at driving or really been comfortable in it. And so when we go places like this, where, where the parking spaces are so close, you guys know, like parking spaces sometimes are so narrow and I have to try and fit in them. I park so far away from the store. So yeah. my kids be all stressed out because they gotta walk. Yeah, Gabby doesn't care, but Sophie's like, oh, why we are? So this is where we, uh-oh. You have the entire charging cord from your phone. So this is where we parked, and this is where the store is way over there. Yeah. I found myself a little kitten. A little cat. Isn't it adorable? She's like, who are you? Hello. Little finches, too. I love little birds. I love that too. That's adorable. Look how cute that is. And budgies. I like budgies. Hello. What's your name? You're cute. And then there's a bunny. So this is what I need. And I do not see it. But, but look at this. Oh, it's not awake. There's a turtle in here, a soft shell turtle. It is adorable. Okay, so I'm waiting for the girls. They went to the dollar store, but the last time I, so I've bought two of these bulbs, two, two of these bulbs so far, and both times it was during COVID times and we weren't allowed in the store. So I just like asked the girl what I needed the first time, and then she told me, and then the second time I just gave her the box and said, I need another one of these, and they're $89.99. So today I was able to go in and look at the lights and I said like, what are the difference between these lights? And she said, well, this one is UVA and UVB and bearded dragons need both. And I already have a UVB big, huge, long one, which does the whole tank. So technically I only needed UVA. So after talking to her, I realized that I only need this one and it is $17. It cost me less than 20 bucks. And really it was gonna cost me a hundred bucks. So that was a deal. And that, my friends, is why not being able to go into the store sucks so bad. A haunted house. And what else did you get? Another one of these. A chocolate. These. And I got energy mints. <laughs> energy mints. Lots of chocolate and energy mints. What'd you I get? I got Twix. Twix. Minis. I also got another chocolate. I just put Halloween shapes Reese's. So it's all about chocolate today on the day by day farm. Fun dip. And then since it was two for one dollar, two of these. So oh, we yeah. cleaned up the saddles. This is Sophie's. It's not that clean. Sophie, you gotta brush this part. I don't have a brush. Oh my goodness. Um, but she cleaned up the rest of it. And it was dirty. And we also, I you need to bring it down. Trust dad with this. You got treats in there and you don't trust them? I don't trust them. Okay, we'll bring it down to the barn because we need to put a stirrup on there. Brandon said this saddle was Gracie's before, so we're going to try it and see if it still fits her. All right, let's see here. Okay. It seems big. Yeah, right here. No, not back there. No, lay long. Mm-mm. Put a saddle pad. Definitely not too long. Isn't that cool though that she has like a dorsal stripe right down the center of her back? So you can literally see if the saddle... And Palomino, so yeah, that's okay. Here you go. Let's see if this thing fits. Hang on. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> What do you think, Gracie Bear? Hey, you like it? Mat. I know I did not leave this a mess. You pushed Gabby, me. Gabby did not leave this a mess, you guys. I know. It just it turns into a mess. Like, look at my lovely saddle. It's about to be cleaned as well. Okay. So, you guys see Miss Missy over there is jealous of Miss Missy over here. This is what I plan and to Willow's use. behind Penny, probably. Will you walk her into the trailer? Yeah. Will you walk her into the trailer? I and then I gotta do school. I gotta leave. Oh yeah, Gabby still has to do school. It's got too hard for me, so she has to have dad help her. 
Yeah. So you think it, so we need to get a girth? Yeah. Don't we have a bigger right. girth though? Where's the whole girth? We have horse girth. But no pony girth? Okay. Is no, what you're saying? That's the only pony girth we have. Oh. Man, what are we gonna do? Yeah, look at this one might fit her. No. Too that big? Won't fit. Um, that doesn't even fit Finn. Oh. You said my word on fire. I don't know what I do without you. You make me smile. What is it that you do? Just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. You tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for myself every single day. You set my world on fire. You set my world on fire. Let me see if I can get her to go. Come on. Come on. Here. Hey. We're gonna recircle you. I feel like I could do it. You can do it, Penny. Don't give her a carrot until she gets right up there. Clearly, dreams do not come true. Not today. Come here, Penny. <laughs> Penny is mad. Penny. Penny. Enough of that. She's not allowed to have a carrot. She's allowed to have a carrot. No, she's not. Come here. You At see least mine? We're like a tiny piece. Yeah. Of just have a bite. Come here. I have a carrot. Why Penny. are you coming to me? She, okay, so basically it did not work. There was no Why getting on the trailer, but we did better than ever before. We're not friends anymore. <laughs> it was frustrating. It was frustrating. All right, that's all. Yep, that's it. That's all you get. Penny gets vindictive. If she gets, well, I guess it's a horse thing. It's just a horse thing, but she is that kind of horse that like gets mad. Like, fine, but I will eat the other horses first. <laughs> no, she does not get it. No, she just wants your carrot. Trust me. I don't have any more. Oh, I have one. <laughs> She's not dumb. Here, Ruby. Actually, this one's going great. Nope. Now she comes to me. Now she wants my carrot. No carrot for you. Because you did bad stuff. You did bad work. So, uh, the next plan for Penny is for me to walk her around the property successfully without her eating the grass. Because I taught her to be a confident horse. I taught her to know that she's loved and cared for. And, hey. yeah. Penny. So now she doesn't care. She doesn't care what she says because she doesn't care what I say because she's confident. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the